here's the thing I want to... There is... The plan for capturing Fort Icebreaker is so choice to me that I think that is not the fight you have here. I think that you've been you you've maneuvered so clearly to me that like yeah you're going they're going to bring Fort Icebreaker in in resupply mode and not defensive mode. They will especially with White Star attacking in the southeast, especially with their forces weakened from the fight against Cosmata to the northwest. It's a pushover. You got it. Like that part of it's good. What's not good is what's coming over the hills to the south. Okay. You're saying that there's... there like I'm not going to make you roll for capturing Fort Icebreaker. I think the plan is sick. <laughs> like, I well, think... Well, fictionally, there's, a, there's like, you know, everyone knows Fort Icebreaker is the strongest, most impenetrable thing, Yeah, I thing, was wondering right? about this. Right. Well, Why at, haven't at some point, it's like before? having guards there is perfunctory. Right, it's not what it's for. It's not. It's not meant to be. No one's taken Fort Icebreaker before because it's Fort Icebreaker. It shoots you before you get anywhere near it. You know what I mean? Like there isn't. There, it's part of a big military base. It's like there's those other methods of of infiltration haven't been available. No one's done the thing you've done. This is like that bit in Hitman where. Uh, Diana goes like, oh, I'm oh, putting on a disguise 47. I've never seen anyone do that before. And she means it. This is like literally you're doing the plan. This is a novel plan for you for this world. Um, and so that isn't the thing for me. Um, the question is whether or not you can still be in control of Juniper when it gets here. Because passing through the fog like ghosts, I mean, like the undead in a real way is the Black Century. The Black Century um, is, and I think maybe you, you have probably heard this, you know this, this is not, this is, this is like one of those things that gets whispered about and it's creepy. When you're saying we've heard this, you're not saying us, the players. No, the players have not heard this. This is new to you. The Divine Motion, which is what Gurus of Rock warned you about in the last, in the downtime, is a divine dedicated to ensuring that things keep going. That Apostolos gets where it needs to, takes what it needs to, and that uh, those who are loyal to, to their nation do not stop fighting. It's called the Black Century because it is composed of 100 soldiers, spread between infantry, armored, and support roles. They're also called that because you serve for 100 years, and the divine motion ensures that you will live through that century, no matter what befalls you. This goes also for its elect, uh, Hyacinth, who is in their final years of service. Over this hill, through the fog, come these mechs, these hallows, that look as if they are undead. The joints are loose. The way that they move is sickly in some instances. Unpredictable. There are three kind of types. There are two of those Cosmos units we saw before, except instead of having like shielded faces, their faces are all scarred up from previous battles. Um, all of them are filled with holes that should stop them from working, and yet they move. There are three of these things called cackles, which are four-legged hyena-style mechs, which howl in the fog. And moving above all that are these four flying units that look like a blend between a bearded vulture and a harrier jet. Their march towards you is syncopated. It is empty of affect. There is no presentation of bloodlust, there's none of that famous apostolician courage. It is just shuffling through the silent wind. And then, up through the gray fog, something shoots. The sky is this, like, static, with the perennial wave and the overcast day. And then there's this just trail of smoke that carries, like, a black flare into the sky above you. And it, it brightens but darkens at the same time. And for just a moment, the horizon around you stretches forever. And everything, the battlefield, Juniper itself, the hills, it loses color and inverts. 
And in that moment, framed on the hills to the south in white and black is something strange, barely contained by its mechanical body. It's almost, almost writhing. And in the miles behind that, the seeming endless distance behind it, more bodies seem to move yet. If this is anything, it is a spearhead. Motion is here. 